Synergy Dance Club? So I am originally from Clonmel and Tipperary and I was starting a beauty therapy course actually in 2016 and I just said because I danced all my life I do a few classes on the side a bit of pocket money while I was in college and little did I know that something on the side was going to turn into my kind of full-time job but like it's not a job to me like I absolutely love it and it's just after really kicking off and it's it's actually this year has just been absolutely amazing it's like opportunity after opportunity and it literally is completely down to just how hard we all work as a team and stuff and not just me in the case was all the parents are a big part of it as well and it's just all absolutely kicking off this year and we'll announce the big news in a second so just don't announce it yet we'll okay. have the, the listeners all on the tender hook about this uh where is synergy dance club where are you based so our um we are based in unit eight park road so it's just the business park across from the people's park yes it's on newtown road and we've been there um a year since september so before that then we were just doing little classes kind of in the back of a gym in tyker so, we so have you've expanded now. isn't yeah. it fabulous that you're able to basically make a career have a life have a wage out of something yeah. you just love yeah absolutely don't work a day in my life literally so i'm down there monday to friday and you like, just love it you? yeah just absolutely love it yeah it's just brilliant what ages are we talking about so the youngest is five and then the oldest would be so i actually dance in a crew myself so my crew will be the oldest i'm the oldest dancer in it and then the youngest after me is 20 years old so it goes from five up to 23, basically. And you'll have other helpers there and other teachers. Yeah. And uh, it's a big responsibility. That's Fair it, yeah. How old are you, you might be asking? I'm 23. That's amazing. Yeah. To have your own business and to be running that and yeah. to have the premises and everything. Yeah. Nicola, you're a mammy. Yeah. And you have uh, one daughter uh, taking part at present. Is that it? I have two. Uh, Molly's 13 and Lily's 6. And are both of them dancing at present? Yeah, they are. Both of them dancing? Yeah. Oh, excellent. And tell us, uh, how do they like it? Tell us, how do they love it? They were like when the, it's, it's hard to explain when they first started. They were so shy, especially Molly, mm -hmm. and the two of them are just. And Lily was the same. Like if you said hello to her, she'd crouch down and hide. And now the two of them are the most confident the girls yeah. you could even meet. Like they just love it. Like every child in there just shines. Especially they're all so the different. Wasn't yeah. it? They're and all so different, but they're just all shining in their own little way. Like. Yeah. And do they practice at home and be dancing they in the kitchen? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> they're the legs are going onto the table, the arms are going. My husband will be ready to kill the two of them. Like. And what's your husband's name? Uh, Gavin McCarns. Special shout out to Gavin. And uh, yeah. <laughs> have you tried to teach Gavin any moves, though? No. <laughs> no, he's just down fixing the toilet. <laughs> he's a plumber. Um, you have some marvellous, marvellous news uh, to reveal here this morning. Um, you are going to be appearing on the Thai show. The late, late Thai <laughs> show. Late, late Thai show. Yeah, absolutely thrilled. So there's over 5,000 applications. Um, it was narrowed down to just over 100 auditions. And we were kind of preparing ourselves and maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't. When we go to our own competitions, we're kind of up against our own kind of style. But this is just like, it could be any talent you're up against. And they absolutely smashed the auditions. And then we got the news on Thursday that... They were after getting through to it out of 5,000 applications. Where did you have to take to go for the auditions? It was in the Imperial Hotel in Cork. So we went up there Monday two weeks ago. And yeah, we only had two days to rehearse it because we, it was, say, a Thursday. No, was it a Friday? A Friday we got uh, the news that we had the audition on the Monday. So we had our Friday practice as usual. And then we did an extra practice on the Saturday. And for kids as young as Nicola's daughter, Millie, six years old, to get a team together in two days to absolutely smash an audition and get a place on the Toy Show is just amazing. So Millie is, uh, is part of the dance troupe for this particular dance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talk to me about what she had to do to take part in this. Um, really, we were talking about putting um, uh, a video in for the Toy Show audition. So mm -hmm. they were going to the All-Irelands and Nicole had said to Millie, this is our first competition, <laughs> she said, you come first in the All Ireland, she said. Um, I will bring you on the Thai Show's audition. <laughs> Lo and behold, Millie came first in the All Ireland. <laughs> so the crew that's actually dancing is Menis, and then there's three girls yeah. from Ferocious, which is an older crew, but they're under 13. So Millie is just kind of merging with them for this. Like, but she practices. She starts practicing with Menis. So yeah, she's the girls a, just love her. She's like. a few years younger, but like she does the classes, and like Nicola has her down there three days a week at, at six years old. Like they're just such a dedicated family, like as well as the rest of them. But um, she really deserved to be part of it because, as six, like as I was saying, six years old to be that dedicated and that hard working, and she just has a little, you know, a little drive in her. Like, so um, we said that we'd have her do a little solo in it, 
and she's just like over the moon about it now. She's mm -hmm. obsessed. <laughs> Describe to me what type of a dance is it? So it's loads of different styles of hip hop. Um, so you have you could have say routines that are a little bit more stronger, and then you have ones that are more sassy. So they have a bit of a a variety in it. Um, the mix itself was two and a half minutes, the audition, and just like that, in and out of different kind of music and solos and tricks and stuff like that, and it was just all hip hop based. Like it would be great if everybody could take part, but they can't, exactly. unfortunately. And as you too say, many one, kids yeah, like it's that, unfortunate. Yeah. But it's 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 fabulous for the club. But it's not yeah. only it's fabulous for Waterford as well. We understand it's the first time in, in a long time, is it? Yeah, since the eighties, I heard. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, and what true. would have been the last group we wonder? Boy Girls Gonna Dancing. Yeah. Um, how many are taking part? How many are in the troupe? There's 13 of them dancing 13. all together. Yeah. Do mummies and daddies or get to go up or what's the story? No. Just myself, my sister <laughs> and my mother. <laughs> You're devastated. <laughs> There's not one for everyone in the audience, no. not for Nicole anyway. None of us actually get to sit in the audience. It's just myself, my sister, my <clears> sister Shannon. She's actually who started Synergy in the first place. She opened um, Synergy in 2015 in Clomel. We're actually from Clomel. And yeah, she was kind of my teacher and showed me the roots and showed me everything. And then that's when I started down here. So it's just myself, my sister Shannon and my man Francis. I was up, uh, obviously had worked in RT. I was up there one night at the, at the back of the toy show. I wasn't in it or anything like that. And there's hundreds upon hundreds of children and mammies and daddies. Yeah. And, and org. So yeah. you can't have everybody in no, the audience. No. It's unfortunate. But yeah. It must be, they must be buzzing, are they, Nicola? Yeah, yeah. They don't stop talking about no, it. No, they're obsessed with it. They just yeah. love it, like, yeah. We recorded their reaction and they were just bawling, crying. Absolutely bawling. Because when I was recording, I was pretending to be on the phone and I was like, oh, I understand. And I should look, we'll try again next year. And then I was like, wait, what? You want us this year? And they just started screaming. <laughs> and then one of them was on the floor, gripping onto legs and everything. <laughs> they just, they worked themselves up thinking, Oh my god like i know they win all their competitions their hip-hop competitions but they were like this is a big thing i had told them i was kind of preparing them if you don't get it don't be upset they were kind of like our teacher never really says that and then mm -hmm. when they got it then it was just like a relief <laughs> it's going to be hard to get them asleep the night before <laughs> and there's a competition the next day in tala yeah. so like they probably won't go to bed that no, night it'll be a very good <coughs> weekend for them. Tala and, and what's day. happening going up in a bus or back down or staying over what's the story we're going to head <coughs> up the friday um when is the 29th it's 29th last friday yeah in, uh, it's actually live the 29th yeah so we're going to head up the friday um we're going to stay in in a little b and b on the friday night um it's kind of after working out great because we have the competition in tala then on the saturday and the sunday excellent um so we are staying up there for two nights and we're doing three full days of dancing between wow. the Thai show and the hip hop idols. So it's going to be a weekend. These kids just won't forget. It's brilliant. M making memories. Making Thank memories. You. That's what it's all about. Congratulations. Thank you. Nicole, thank you so much, Nicole Green and uh, Nicola McLaurin's. Uh, well done. Congratulations Thanks to all the girls and everybody involved in the school and all the mammies and daddies. Yeah. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you. Thanks, Thanks a million. See them. Yeah, yes, we definitely. will. We'll come down to see you and do a, a little piece with them definitely yeah. before you go. Thanks Perfect. so much, Thank ladies. You. Thank you. Thanks a million.